In the previous part of this lecture, I showed you how to take random data from your Arduino and then transmit them over to the Helium network and through the HTTP channel to forward it to our request bin. So the request bin is still here and still listening. Just remember that uh, eventually the request bin will expire if you don't use it. So then you're going to have to use a different URL, create a new request bin, but eventually it will expire. So I keep it alive by occasionally refreshing this page and sending new data from Helium. So what we'll do in this part of the lecture is to plug in my shield here, that prototyping shield that contains the two sensors, so that instead of sending random data over to the Helium network, we actually send real data. So I'll start by unplugging power from the Arduino and then I'm going to use a little post-it note here and explain why. So here is my proto prototyping shield. Uh, on the bottom I've got all the wiring happening and I've connected the data pin of the DHT22 to digital pin number 2 which is this pin right here and then the uh, BMP 180 is using SDA and SCL pins which are digital pins, uh, sorry analog pins 4 and 5 on the Arduino so uh, that's what these little wires do you can do this of course on a breadboard you don't really need to have a prototyping shield uh, for this experiment uh, uh, a mini breadboard will do just fine but I wanted to leave this aside collecting data for a long period of time so this is a little bit more uh, a more reliable way to do so I have also wired this LED here to digital pin number nine which is a PWM capable pin right there so I'm going to use this LED to indicate when the helium is transmitting data to the network so when the operation to get readings from the sensors and transmit it to the heli to the helium network begins this led will turn on and then when the operation ends it will turn off so because i've got some soldering happening here and exposed copper and uh, there is not enough clearance between the the helium uh, adapter and the prototyping shield to connect the two without the exposed copper on the prototyping shield touching onto the antenna especially the antenna uh, connectors i'm going to use a little post-it node and hopefully this will provide a little bit of insulation i need to cut it to the appropriate size just like that and they will provide a bit of insulation so I can go ahead and plug in the prototyping board into the helium adapter. There you go. Now it's ready. So I'll go ahead and provide power to the Arduino. The original sketch is still running so we should see the payload arriving to the channel any seconds now there you go there's the first one right there 